Hey, what's up? My name is Nick. I am known as Chef's Kiss on Twitch and in the Discord. And, uh, you know, today I'm here to give you guys a breakdown of how I made this, which is the winning art for the Kenny Beats Beat Battle last week. Um, so, yeah, uh, just before we kind of get into it, like, real quick disclaimers, just to kind of put my uh, imposter syndrome at ease. But first thing is I am typically a designer. I'm not really an illustrator. So, you know, if whatever I'm doing you here is bothering you because I'm not an illustrator, I'm sorry. But, you know, I just kind of know what I know and do what I do. So that's the first thing. Second thing is these beat battles and the art battles, they're like really fast. You kind of have to just go with whatever gut instinct you have. So... I take some shortcuts here that I wouldn't if I if you were like a paid client, for example, um, or you know we were just like collaborating to do stuff. So if you see like a shortcut that you're like, mm, I can't believe that guy did that, like oh, I don't know, I probably wouldn't do that uh, when we work together. So those are the two things. Uh, let's get into it. Um, this is extremely simple. Um, let me show you the sample real quick. So Dom gave us this sample. Um, it's honestly awesome. I don't know where the hell these samples keep coming from, but like they are so sick. Like, you know, I don't know what the hell is going on here with the, so you got like this head here, this body, hands on the knees, the foot here, um, you know, a TV. So already, you know, ideas are kind of going off. And I'm thinking about like, okay, you know, this is interesting because it's like, all right, the head's not even looking at the TV and it's this weird aspect ratio. So um, you got to keep in mind that at the end of the day, the thing needs to be like square. It needs to actually be a album cover square. So this is probably not going to work because what I like about the sample is the interesting figure bits. So the uh well let me tell you about the tools that i used first so hold on give me a sec this is what i used to draw it um this is a wacom wacom tablet wacom uh there you go wacom um it's like an intuos pro i use it virtually never that's what I used. I, I don't know. I just decided to use it because uh, this art battle is kind of like where, you know, I like to play around with different styles and, and try different things. So um, again, this is the final thing. So let me break down the layers real quick. Um, so you guys can see it's very simple. Um, the topmost layer is some texture um, and then we've got the actual outlines that i drew uh the colors shadow for the tv that little color block thing um, and here is the sample and yeah that's basically how i did it so it was exceedingly simple like to cut this stuff out so all i did on here was i went in here I hit this little magic wand tool, uh, make sure that your background is unlocked. Basically just hit delete, select the background, hit delete. And then, you know, just and then you've got a nice cutout body. Super, super simple. You just go fast. Like, honestly, you know, you could go in there and like really like get in there and get with the eraser and you're just like, oh yeah, let me get that the edges and oh yeah it's perfect perfect but that shit takes so long um and again shortcuts so just hit the w key magic wand cut it out um and then once you've got it you can uh copy that layer paste it onto your square and oh look at that you've got a little guy so from here um going back to the sample what i was talking about with this aspect ratio thing so all of the elements are kind of out in this really long kind of line, right? They're in this linear layout. But a album cover is a square. So if you just took this, if you take the sample as it is, 
Um, and I will paste it in here just to show you guys what that looks like. Uh, let me hide the original sample. You see how like, in order to fit it, it it's so small. Like if you were to zoom out, like imagine this is on your Spotify or whatever, like you can't see that. That doesn't mean anything. Um, this, uh, let's hide this. That you can actually kind of see a little bit. And then once you get the color and it's even more visible. Um, so to fix that, you've got to rearrange this stuff. And this is what I kind of rearranged it to. From there, we, I actually had the idea to kind of think about this from like a cubism perspective. So the re here, here's how I got there. I watched a video on Picasso like last week. So, you know, that's how it happened. I Googled cubism. This is what I Googled. And I was like, okay, we got some good line work here. You know, um, it's kind of similar to how the sample is already. So it's not like a far leap from it. Um, so, you know, it, it didn't, it, it wasn't too crazy. And originally I tried to make everything a square. So this is the first attempt. Um, at first try to make everything a 90 degree angle. It didn't really work that well. Um, then I decided to add in 45 degree angles. And here, let me get rid of the TV. So it looked like that, which like, I mean, like, it's kind of cool, but I wanted more granularity because it just, it doesn't feel like the same thing. It feels a little too far off. Uh, screw 90 degree angles. And instead, go with more kind of like granular angles um, just to fit the figure. So, you know, I just got in there with my Wacom tablet and was just rotating everything and drawing lines like that and going like, oh yeah, this is, this feels real good, right? Um, and honestly, you don't even really need the tablet. Like plenty of time before, like I prefer to use a mouse and keyboard because if you don't know this, you should know this, but if you hold shift and you click, you kind of connect the dots, right? So like, you know, you can just go crazy and kind of connect the dots however you want and you can just draw whatever you want and w just with connecting the dots yeah so that's typically how I work but um this time I wanted to use the wake up tablet so I did um another thing about the brush I decided to use if we blow it up it's this kind of speckled brush I don't even know I just went in here Kyle Ultimate Charcoal Pencil 25 Pixels Med 2, I think, is that, that's what it is. Um, as far as I know, it's just a stock Photoshop brush, but I wanted it because you see the texture on this, this picture, and like the texture of like cubism is what makes it. That's what makes the style, is how textural, um, painterly it is. So I wanted to, to replicate that with a Photoshop brush. So I just went in there and played around until I found one. Um, I made it, I think I'm using a, oh, I think I'm using a 15, come on, work. Size 15 brush to do this, just cause that felt right. You could have, I could have used something else, but that's kind of what felt right to me. Um, it actually might even be less, but, and so I just outlined everything. Boom, 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 boom. Once I outlined everything, that's when I went in with color. Okay. And the colors were something that I got a lot of compliments with. Well, I gotta be honest. I didn't really do a whole lot with colors. I mostly just grabbed them from existing paintings. I don't have enough time to come up with a color palette. It's really hard for me to come, <laughs> for people to come up with color palettes. So, uh, I kind of grabbed them, um, another shortcut. But um, what I did do was figure out how I wanted to balance all the colors out. So with the figure, like the person, I decided to go for like the more tans and oranges over on the person, you know, like kind of skin tony, I guess. Um, over on the uh, TV, I decided to go with more red, 
blue screen. And then the head I want with the contrasting color to the tan, which is like that dark kind of teal turquoise color. Um, and then the shadows I went with like just like a darker brownish kind of color. Making the, the different figures like a different color, it just kind of adds a little bit of visual interest. Interest. So if you see where the sample is, it's kind of like left. I actually, after I outlined everything, it was like this. And then I was looking at it, I was like, I kind of wish that it was a little bit less right there and more right there. So I moved it. Um, and then after I did that, I was looking at it, I was like, okay, but actually there needs to be more of something here. So I just put this color block in. Um, I try to make it loosely pairing off with the head so that you've got this kind of like balance in the corners of the head is like a very heavy object because this is like one of the darkest colors in the whole composition and then this is also one of those dark dark colors in the composition um and then at this point i threw in that background color that i felt like just kind of made everything look good i literally this one i actually did pick myself i just kind of went mm, yeah until i found one that i liked um didn't want to be too dark didn't want to be too light um you know, just kind of like a neutral color that makes the colors pop, but is still pleasing. Now, the block. The way I made this was I made my brush size a little bit bigger. I'm still using that same brush. And I literally drew a box and manually colored it in. Now, I know you may be saying, Nick, there's a fill bucket tool. Why didn't you use that? Let me tell you. It's because the texture, remember what I said, texture is what makes all of these things. It's like all of these little nuances coming together to make the thing really good. Like, you know, you could have just made this just a basic ass rectangle with nice clean edges, but I think the texture is like all of those textural elements that kind of add up to make the thing great. You see how I've missed a spot like that? It's because I literally did it by hand. And those little imperfections are what give the thing character and will give the thing like that uniqueness um the last thing i did to add like a finishing touch to it was i added a texture overlay on the whole image um i can hide this and show this and it changes the color a little bit but it is a color burn overlay it's a 10 decked edge paper white thing so i found this texture overlay online and it, it just adds a paper texture onto whatever you're doing, um, which it, it adds like a subtle effect to the artwork that like, if you got this printed on like vinyl, for example, and you could actually like blow it up and see all the crisp detail, you would see how there's this subtle texture on there. And it, it, it brings the physical world into the digital world a little bit. Like if this was made by hand with paint, I would have paper texture. You'd be able to see that. And that is a lot of what makes cubism cool. That's a lot of what makes all of the stuff that I like to make uh, interesting is those little subtle characteristics. This is what it actually looks like. Um, it's just literally like a, like a, I don't know, like a textured paper. Um, it just adds, I, I just took that. Um, I did a color burn on it. Um, you know, you could do other things like you do a linear burn, darker color, screen. There's some crazy shit overlay, you know, difference. I actually almost submitted this one. I almost submitted this one because the colors are really striking with this one. So, you know, if you wanted like a B side, this is the B side. This is the B side art. So I thought that was pretty cool, but I went with the color burn, the original colors, cause I like those. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. I mean, honestly, like when it comes to these art battles, it's kind of just about going fast. And, you know, for me, it's about just going with your gut. It's about training instincts and, uh, you know, trusting yourself and knowing that you know what your your ideas are good and then executing them as you have in your mind's eye right like that that connection between you know doing the thing and thinking about the thing is pretty hard to do so 
these art battles are so good for that um yeah so that's how i made this um i do want a really quick shout out to all the people in the discord because i got a lot of love for this one um like as soon as i posted it people were dming me like dude this is really sick people are asking me like if i had prints available like that's crazy i've never had anyone ask me if i had anything for sale so thank you so much that was like a really cool experience i went and like people were asking if i had stuff on instagram so i set up an instagram chef's kiss underscore design on instagram go give that a follow what i might also try to do is is uh stream some of these art battles on my twitch account so give that a follow if you want don't feel obligated to do that though i feel bad telling people like hey go do this um so if you would be so kind that'd be cool and thank you to kenny for doing the art battles i know that like it's like a music focused but like i literally learned how to use photoshop to do art battles like i just decided like oh you know what this is a cool time to do learn photoshop so i learned how to do all of this stuff um just to do art battles and now i actually use it professionally so um that's been a really cool experience thank you and yeah cool i mean that's it